All right, yeah, welcome back again. Uh, we are going to continue in our clustering. Uh, we had look last time we look at the Erika clustering. So we want to look at the neighbor joining. So another uh, type of clustering in pass, which is in Go. Of course, we know that uh, these are all supervised all, all, all learning algorithm. Okay. Uh, uh, neighbor joining clustering is actually an alternative method for Erika clustering. Okay, the, the method was originally developed for phylogenetic analysis, but maybe uh, maybe uh, superior to UPGME that we just did for also for ecological data. So in contrast uh, with uh, UPAG, two branches from the same internal node do not need to have equal branch length. Okay, that is means they, they can have different equal branch length. So this one is a little bit. Uh, uh, different from the one we have done before, but they are similar, just an alternative. So, if you are doing ecology, for example, you have, you have ecological data you have that to analyze, you can also uh, you can easily use uh, this method to cluster. This is a neighbor joining, right? You can, you can see neighbor joining here. Okay, this is neighbor joining. You can see. So, you can change the root branch, okay? Picks, it picks by default, so you can check. You can check also. You can check similarity index also. If you don't want, so you can rotate the tree also. All right. Uh, okay. So this is just uh, you can check the graph setting here. So this is just how a cluster, so method of clustering, called neighbor joining. Okay. So it's as simple as this. So right. So you can see all the uh, this thing here. Our our, our tasks are here. Okay. Choose any one to be root branch. Right? right? So this is a you can, you can now compute. Right? So this is now become the root branch. This become become the root. Now can you see? Come first to be the root, right? But uh, we, we I don't want that. I just want a final branch. Okay. So that is a that is a how to use a uh, neighbor joining uh, clustering in the past. So uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for listening.